Welcome to video number three of our bootstrap scanning course that we're doing. Uh, currently, this is where we're at in our project. We have a working page. We've working a ASCX page. We've installed an HTML module, and we took a look at scan objects and the client resource manager and a few other things. So now it's time to start building out our page. And today we're going to take a look at installing the Bootstrap Top Nav uh, menu. We're going to fix some display issues with the CSS. We're going to register the DDR menu. We're going to add a DNN controlled site title to the menu. We're going to add a login logout to the menu. And a little CSS to fix some positioning that's going, to, going on with that. So let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to make sure we're opened up. Um, if you're following along in Visual Studio, this is where we're at in our code. So we have our opened up here, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to boot, get, get bootstrap.com and look at their starter template and grab that menu and put it in here. So let's go to getbootstrap.com, uh, click on getting started, and then oops, went too far, didn't I? click on examples and their starter template. And if you'll notice, they're going to start a template to top menu. Watch what happens. And it just, at that point, turns into a drop down. At some point, right about there. Yeah, right there. And that's what we want to happen on our, our site. So, first thing we need to do is go ahead and view the source. And look for the menu code and the menu code starts right above the container and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to grab everything we need to create a bootstrap menu right here so we're going to copy and paste this we'll go back into our file here and we're going to place it right above the container and we're going to save and we'll take a look see what's happened back on my test page here You'll notice we now have a bootstrap menu. And at some point it turns into a drop down. But it's now covering up our admin bar. So let's go fix that real quick. Let's look at our code. If you look at the top line, the class is nav, navbar inverse, and navbar fix top, navbar fix top is what's pushing it to the top. The admin menu is also grabbing that spot. Bootstrap's taking precedence in the Z index. So let's just remove that. Go back and refresh our page. And you'll notice some display issues. We now have this work, uh, working the way we want it. But look at some display issues. And we had this even before. Notice the DNN logo is dropping down. It's chopping off down here. There's a few little display issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab code snippet number three. And we'll place that in our custom CSS file, and it's going to fix that for us. If you don't have the code snippets, you can download them at my website. Find the Bootstrap Scanning course in the uh, tutorial section on the right sidebar, and you'll be able to get this uh, code snippets and things I'm using in this course there. So let's go here. I'm opening up our skin CSS that we created in the last video. Put that in there. I'm going to save. I'm going to refresh. Alright, now everything's placed just the way it's supposed to be. And our menu's creating a drop down like it should. But we have the content front that was grabbed from the Bootstrap website right here. We need to replace all that, but we need to grab us a menu first. And I'm using, a, I'm going to use a couple different examples. But the first example, because you may be on YouTube watching this, and if you haven't uh, installed DNN already, Within your install come some skins. So we'll go to portals, default, skins, and we'll look at gravity. And we're going to grab their bootstrap nav. That's the first one I'm working with. So just copy and paste that into your skin folder that you happen to be working on. I already have mine. Uh, right here. Uh, bootstrap nav and this one here I'll provide as well you'll grab from my side. I'm going to show you how easy it is to change out menus. So I'm going to use two different ones. This is the first one we're using. It was copied from the gravity folder. 
Okay, so make sure you got that placed in your skin folder. And once you have that placed, grab this code snippet right here. Copy it, and we're going to replace this unordered list right here with that. Now I want you to look at this. Menu style, bootstrap nav. That is the folder name. That is that folder name. That's all we're doing is just grabbing the name of the folder for that. When we switch, we're going to just change the name right there, the name of the folder. So right now, bootstrap nav. And the reason why I'm using this one first because it's easy for everybody watching this video to get hold of it. They don't necessarily have to come to my website to get it. And let's refresh. And you'll notice it uses some nice uh, bootstrap pill type style in there. What we want to do now is where it says project name, we want to go ahead and let DNN manage that name that shows up right there. So we're going to grab uh, code snippet number five. Let's copy and paste that. We're going to copy this. And we're going to go in where it says project name. We're going to paste that in there. Save. Take a look. Refresh. And there's my website name. Okay. So another thing I'd like to do is add a login logout link over to this site over here. So let's go in here. Let's go to code snippet number six. And because Bootstrap likes their menu items be in an unordered list, we're going to go ahead and grab this. This is going to give us the uh, skin token that we need for the, again, you need to make sure you have registered the skin object, which is that right there. Make sure that's registered. This is a skin token that's going to allow us to use what we registered above. We'll place it, and this has a class of uh, nav bar, which nav nav bar, which gives it tells tells it as, tells Bootstrap as a menu item. Nav bar right floats it to the right. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in, and we're going to put it directly underneath where we placed our Bootstrap menu just a minute ago. Let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And we're going to save that. Let's go refresh. And now you see we have, and if I log out, I can log back in. And I'm logged back in here. Now, I'm going to go look at this in Firefox. Refresh. And we're going to find the ID to that login link, which happens to be DNN login, DNN underscore DNN login underscore login link. So we got that ID there. I want to move this up some. So we're going to go back to our code snippets and right underneath the uh, unordered list item that we put the login uh, skin token in with, we're going to grab this login ID right here and we're just going to paste that right in control s save and refresh and we see it moved it up we're going to see where it's placing it on the drop down here it looks like it's in line with everything so that looks like it's good that's all there is to include in the bootstrap menu and before we end this video I want to go ahead and show you if you recall I installed that other menu here so I'm just going to copy that folder name so this is how easy it is to change out what is being shown here we're going to just go in here bootstrap nav we might have to get and we're going to put in that right there and we'll go in here and I'm going to take out that CSS so don't mess with nothing and let's go refresh And there it is. We didn't need the uh, extra CSS to line up the logout, login, logout link for that one. And so both of those menus will be in the so source materials for this video at my website, skeeterz71.com. Videos 1 and 2, which are free at my site, www.skeeterz71.com. Video tutorials for Photoshop, Illustrator, Dreamweaver, WordPress, CSS, JavaScript, a whole lot more. They're all free. 
And so have a good day.